Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm vlogging in my car right now. I'm on my way to a hair appointment, which I wouldn't normally be vlogging, but today's hair appointment is a little bit exciting, a little bit more exciting than normal, I would say. I think we're getting bangs. I think. Last time I got my hair cut, I got these little kind of face framing pieces, I guess you would call them. Right now they kind of go to my jawline and I think we want them more at like my cheekbone. I don't know, I kind of want to get curtain bangs. They're super trendy right now and I've been seeing them on so many other girls and I just think they're so cute. And I kind of just want to change because my hair is really long and I don't want to cut it. I don't want to chop it because I kind of like it long. I've chopped it before and I didn't really love it. And I like the color of it. Like I don't want to change the color. I want to stay blonde. So bangs is kind of the only option and I'm just bored. I'm bored with my life. I feel like I need a change. I feel like I just need this. I don't know, something's just telling me to do it because for example, when I wanted to chop my hair, I was so hesitant because I didn't know if I was going to like it. And I was like, you know what? The only way I'm going to find out is if I do it. And I did chop it, didn't love it, but it just grew back in like a year, not even. I mean, if I don't like them, it's kind of ideal because I'm not really going anywhere. So yeah, if they look like shit, then I'll know to never get bangs again. And I don't really have anywhere to go. So it's fine. I'll just wait and they'll grow out. It's just hair. But yeah, I'm feeling like it. I don't know. I'll show some pictures to my hairdresser because I have like a bunch of photos saved of kind of the vibe I want, like kind of the style I want because you know, I feel like you gotta bring reference photos. You can't just go in and tell your hairdresser you want bangs because, you know, there's lots of different hairstyles that involve bangs and there's lots of different kinds of bangs. So yeah, I have lots of reference photos that I'm gonna show my hairdresser and we'll see what she thinks. She's like really good at knowing if I'm gonna like something or not. Like she knows how I like my hair, like as far as my color goes, I don't even tell her what I want anymore. She kind of just does her thing and I always seem to like it. So. Yeah, she's great, so I'll talk to her about it and we'll decide, but yeah, this is what my hair looks like now. It's super long, it's really dark on top, like the roots really need to be touched up. In the summertime, I can go a little bit longer because the sun lightens my hair slightly, but obviously since it's February and it's winter, my roots are very dark and we have not seen the sun. So yeah, I have to get my roots touched up, kind of get more blonde in there, which always makes me really happy. I just love being blonde. It's my favorite. So we're gonna do that. Do a little trim because the ends are not looking the best. And yeah, then maybe bangs. So I actually have to drive there now or I'm gonna be late. I probably won't vlog at the hair place just because she moved hair salons and the hair salon she's in now is huge and there's so many other hairdressers there. So you guys know me. I'm like a little bit of a scaredy cat. So yeah, there's no way I'm just gonna whip out a camera in like this big hair salon. Like I just know myself, I probably won't do it. But yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Maybe in the next clip I'll have bangs. Maybe. I hope they look good. I saw a tweet the other day that I like sent to my mom because I told her I was gonna do this. And it was like this mom tweeted it. And she was like, I really wanted to get bangs, but I couldn't decide. So I made my daughter get them and they look terrible. Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> and I like sent that to my mom, I was like, I will be the guinea pig. If they look like shit, then you won't get them. Because my mom was kind of talking about getting them and I was like, mom, don't do it. But now I'm doing it. So hopefully they look good. Yay, I'm excited. Wish me luck. Guys, we're here. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, confidence, we can do this. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm home now for my hair appointment. I'm obsessed with it. I am in love. Are you guys ready to see? Isn't it so cute? Oh, I love it. Oh, the color is amazing. She always does so good on the color. Like every time she does my color, I'm always obsessed. It's always a little bit of a different shade of blonde. We like to play with that, but I'm obsessed with the color. I love these. So this is what I got for bangs. I'd say they're more of like a curtain bang. They're pretty much what I had, but just a little bit shorter. I just think they're so cute. I didn't want to go super short. Some of the pictures I had, they were really short. She kind of started cutting and she was like, I'll do this. And then if you want to go shorter, we can, because obviously you can't add it back, but you can always take more off. We really liked this length. And I just thought it looked 
so good i'm obsessed with the color like my roots look so pretty oh it just blends so nicely oh so pretty she blends it with my roots so nicely and yeah i'm really obsessed i love it so far i love the bangs i mean we'll see <laughs> if they start to annoy me or what i think of them but yeah i love it i'm really excited to style this and try a lot of different hairstyles and yeah i'm so excited it's crazy how much getting your hair done can affect you like how much it can change your mood and just make you feel better and hair is very powerful i'll insert the pictures that i showed my hairdresser for you guys just in case for reference if you want to get this look i mean i feel like this hairstyle looks slightly different on everyone because like i showed my hairdresser some pictures and we did have to like tweak it a little bit because obviously some of the girls in the photos that i showed her they had like thicker hair and bangs would just be different on them than it would be on me so yeah you always have to like adjust it a little bit like you can never really look at a photo of someone else's hair and get that exact look i mean maybe but usually you have to like tweak it a little bit based on like your hair type and your hair length and color and thickness like all of that but i'm really really happy with it but yeah i will insert the pictures of the ones that i showed my hairdresser basically i just asked for curtain bangs kind of like face framing curtain bangs and then I just got my color touched up. I don't know how to help you guys with that as far as like what color I get or like what color my hairdresser uses or like what toner she uses. I honestly don't know. I never really ask her. I just kind of let her do her thing. But yeah, I think that's it. This is the finished hair. I love it. And I'm so excited to style it and just get more used to it. But as of right now, first impression, I love it. I think it's so cute. So it's the next day. Since this video has been pretty short, I thought I would add this clip at the end. I don't know, I thought it would be helpful to show you guys my hair care routine and like the products I use just to go in this video. I don't know, I just thought it'd be helpful and I don't know, that just like avoids the questions about the products I use in case you guys are wondering about that. I mean, I don't know if you're curious about that, maybe. I'd assume you would be if you're watching this video. I don't know, you might have some interest in like <laughs> my hair or how I do it and what I get done and all that. So I'm gonna walk you guys through all of the products I like to use. Kind of a lot. I like to play with products. Like I love, I love products, but I am picky about my hair products I use, especially since bleaching my hair and coloring it. I feel like you have to use good products and you have to be really careful and gentle with your hair because, you know, coloring your hair and bleaching your hair can be super damaging if you don't use good products and you don't take care of your hair. So yeah, I've tried quite a few products. So I'm gonna talk you guys through my favorites and kind of just go through my routine and everything I do. So the first thing I wanna mention might be a little bit silly, but just in case you guys don't know about this. So this is just a hairbrush, which don't look too closely at it because I use this one every day and it looks, it looks gross. Like it, it doesn't look nice, but this is a wet brush, which if you don't own a wet brush, you need to they're so good they're the best hair brushes they don't break your hair like they don't rip your hair you know sometimes when you're brushing your hair and it's like you can just feel the breakage these are so good i find especially when your hair's wet i mean that makes sense they're called a wet brush yeah i'm always very gentle when i brush my hair i feel like that's important especially when it's wet that's when your hair is the most vulnerable so yeah be careful when you're brushing your hair do it gently i feel like that's such a girl thing to just like rip your hair and be so aggressive with it. I mean, I used to be like that too in like my teen years, but yeah. Then I learned and I was like, I should probably be a little gentler. Like I should take it easy. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, if you don't have one of these, I'd really recommend them. They're not very expensive and they're just the best hairbrushes in my opinion. Okay, so moving on to shampoos and conditioners. I have quite a few. I mean, this is a little excessive. I use a lot of different shampoos and conditioners. I just like to switch it up. There's kind of no like rhyme or reason to this. It's just I'll use whatever I feel like or whatever I feel like my hair needs at the time. So I have three or maybe four, I guess different ones to show you. Yeah, these are all good ones and I'd recommend all of them. So the first shampoo and conditioner I use is from the brand Way which is Jen Atkins hair care brand. She's a celebrity hairstylist, if you don't know, I love her. 
But anyway, these are the medium hair shampoo and conditioners. These ones are huge. These are like the refillable size. This one's for medium hair. I think they have one for fine hair and then probably one for thick hair. I don't know, she has a lot of different shampoos and conditioners. Like she has a lot within her brand. I've tried a few of her shampoos and conditioners and they've always been really good, but I especially love this medium hair one. I feel like it just works so well for my hair. It gives my hair really good like volume and almost brings out the wave in it a little bit and it just makes my hair look really healthy. It smells good, feels nice. Also good for colored hair, color safe. I don't know, I just really love this hair care brand and I love the shampoo and conditioner. It's really great. Okay, and then the next shampoo and conditioner I'll use is Olaplex. I really love Olaplex. I feel like so many people talk about it and mention it and I do think it's worth the hype. I think it's very good, especially if you color your hair or you have a little bit of damage you wanna repair. I feel like Olaplex is really good and you won't be disappointed with it. I mean, it is expensive. It's about $30 for each of these. And yeah, like they're not huge bottles, but it is really good. So if you are trying to repair your hair, like if you have a lot of damage, a lot of breakage, then yeah, I would really recommend this stuff. It's really good. Or like, I don't have a ton of breakage. I don't have a ton of damage, but I'm just really conscious about preventing that, especially since I bleach it. So I do love this stuff and I'll use it whenever I feel like my hair is getting like a little brittle or if I'm just styling it a ton and I'm using a lot of heat on it, which I try not to do. But if I'm using a lot of heat on my hair, then I'll use this duo because yeah, it's really good at preventing damage and like repairing it. Okay, and then more of like a drugstore shampoo and conditioner. I think you can get this at the drugstore. This is by the brand Redken and it's the Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner. I think. I don't know. It's in these blue bottles. I love this stuff. I've been using this for years. This is such a good shampoo and conditioner. It's just really basic. I mean, I don't really know what to say about it because it's just pretty simple. It's like no frills, but it just does the job. It makes my hair feel so nice. It's really like conditioning. Like it makes my hair feel really like smooth and hydrated. I guess hydrated would probably be the best word, but no, I love this stuff. I've been using it for years. The smell's pretty basic. It's not offensive or anything. This is just a really good duo. If you color your hair, I would say you can't go wrong with this. It's really good. Okay, and then the next shampoo and conditioner that I wanna mention, I'll use probably every other time I wash my hair or maybe every third wash if that makes sense. It's for blondes. It's a purple shampoo and conditioner, which if you're not blonde or you don't get highlights or anything like that, you might not be familiar with purple shampoos and conditioners. Basically, you wanna use purple if you're blonde or you have highlights because that's gonna combat brass and that's gonna take away that like brassy gold tones that can show up in your hair when you kinda of need to get it done. Like right now, since I just got my hair done, it's really ashy and the colors really nice, but if I don't use any purple shampoos or anything, it'll gradually start to get a little brassy and a little yellow. And I personally don't love that. Like I like my color to be really cool toned and really ashy. I just feel like that's more flattering on most people, honestly. And that's just the look I prefer. So yeah, I'll use that shampoo and conditioner every once in a while when I feel like my color is fading slightly and it's not as vibrant and ashy as I want it. And I love that duo. I've tried quite a few purple shampoos and conditioners and you can definitely tell a difference. Like some of them are not, not very good and they don't really do anything, but my hairdresser recommended the Shimmer Lights shampoo and conditioner. And that one's really good. It works like instantly. It really helps like revive your color. And I love it. I'd really recommend that one. If you're blonde or you have any highlights or balayage in your hair, if you have any blonde in your hair you'd love that you can also use it if you have like silver hair like gray hair it would work good for that as well so yeah that's my favorite purple shampoo and conditioner okay and then i really wanted to mention this because i never hear anyone talk about these and they're so good like they're so amazing they work so good so this is by pantene you can get this at the drugstore like i just got this at shoppers it's really cheap honestly you can get like a pack of three of these for like three or four dollars if it's on sale so it's honestly a steal and these work so good these are the pantene intense rescue shots basically i use these when i need to get a haircut <laughs> like i get my hair done i'd say probably every two to three months and if i'm not in desperate need but if i sort of need a trim like my ends are starting to get a little little split not looking so hot if they're starting to look a little fuzzy not the best then i'll use this in the shower i use this at the end of the shower if that makes sense so after i wash my hair so i'll shampoo condition and then i'll leave this in the ends of my hair i usually just do it from like here down i'm more focused on the ends like i would never put this on my roots i mean you could if you have breakage up there but 
I just focus this on my ends and I'll leave it in my hair for I'd say like five minutes and then I'll like do something else in the shower like shave or you know do my body wash wash my face something else to kind of let this sit in my hair a little bit but this works it's like an instant effect I find like it's not gonna replace a haircut like you still need to go and get your haircut obviously but yeah if you can't get to the hair salon as quickly as you want to and you find your ends are not looking the best this is really good and it does work and it's pretty cheap like it's not very expensive so I love these okay so next I'm going to show you guys the products that I use when my hair is wet so after I've washed it after I've showered and shampooed and conditioned once I get out of the shower I'll towel dry my hair I mean these products work for me but if you have like curly hair or something the products you use are probably going to be completely different because I'm someone who I can brush my hair right when I get out of the shower where if you have curly hair you obviously wouldn't brush your hair when it's wet but I do so first thing I'll do is put in some leave-in conditioner I really like this one I've been using it for probably a year now maybe over a year you can get this at the drugstore I like this one or there's also a different one I like it's like a coconut one I'll maybe insert a picture of it my hairdresser uses that one on me all the time like every time I go see her she uses that before she blow dries my hair and I really like that one as well I just don't have it at the moment but this is the one I'm using it's from Mark Anthony it's just a leave-in conditioner so I'll spray this in my hair when it's wet that's the first thing I do and then I'll brush it and then recently I started using this which I do really like it I don't know it's kind of fun it's from Living Proof it's the color care whipped glaze <laughs> kind of got tongue-tied when I was saying that but this is like a mousse and it's a light purple. It's kind of a lilac color. And again, it just helps with brass. And yeah, I'm really picky about the color of my hair and I never want it to get brassy. So like I said, I'll use the purple shampoo and conditioner, but then I also will use this in my hair pretty much every time. I just like the effect of this. It's kind of like a temporary color. So it'll make your color more vibrant, but it's temporary. Like it's not gonna last. Obviously if you wash your hair, this will come out, but it's really nice. I love Living Proof in general. That's a really good care brand okay and then next I'll put this just in my ends so just from about here down when my hair is wet I feel like this just helps condition my ends this is from Olaplex and it's a bond smoother it just says leave in reparative styling cream so you probably don't need both of these like you could just use one or the other like you could use this higher up on your hair I find if I do that my hair gets too oily so I like to focus this just on my ends and I use a very very small amount of this but I do really like this I feel like it helps prevent breakage and just kind of conditions my ends, which I like, so I'll use that. Okay, and then the next few products I'm gonna mention, I don't use these very often, but I wanted to mention them because they're very good. So this is from Paul Mitchell and it's the Super Skinny Serum. So I'll use this if I blow dry my hair. I don't like blow drying my hair, mostly just because it takes forever. I don't know why, because my hair is pretty fine. Like I don't have particularly thick hair, so I don't know why it takes forever to blow dry but it takes so long like I'm talking like half an hour sometimes even more than that so I just avoid blow drying my hair because it's damaging to your hair and I just hate doing it I just usually will let my hair air dry but if for some reason I have to blow dry my hair I'll put this in because I feel like it really helps prevent it from getting frizzy my hairdresser recommended this to me actually she uses it all the time and I love it as well this is also from Paul Mitchell I wanted to mention this because it's so good like I said earlier I don't use this very often but when I do I'm always kind of blown away because it's so good it's called the extra body daily boost root lifter the name pretty much says it that's exactly what it does if you have really flat hair that's something I struggle with is volume like my hair is usually pretty flat this is like instant effect I prefer using this when my hair is wet or damp you could use it when your hair is dry but I feel like you have to be a little bit more careful with it then so it doesn't make your hair like wet but it's so good you don't need to use very much at all you just kind of spray a little bit at the roots and kind of judge your hair a little bit and this will give you like instant volume and yeah like I said it's great if you want volume at your roots and you have fine hair I love this okay and then I thought I'd mention a couple hair masks that I like I don't do hair masks very often maybe like twice a month the first one is actually a purple one this one I love I recommended this to so many of my friends and I just think it's so good even if you're not blonde like I know people use this that are barely blonde like people that have just like a few highlights because apart from it being purple it's just a really good mask and it's really hydrating like it makes your hair feel so nice after but this is from Christoph Robin 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 Christoph Robin and it's the shade variant mask 
fuck, I can't talk today. It's the shade variation mask and it says enhances color and deeply nourishes. And I have the shade baby blonde. They do different shades of this. Like they have ones for brunettes as well that are supposed to, you know, help with your color. Even if you're a brunette, like this isn't exclusively for blondes, they have other shades. So yeah, maybe look into that if you're not blonde like I am. But no, I love this. Again, it helps with brass and it just nourishes your hair really nice. And I love it. It's great. And then next, these two, I kind of use these interchangeably. I feel like you don't need both of these. I like both of them. The first one is Olaplex number three. This is just a hair mask. It's great. It's similar to the shampoo and conditioner. I feel like this is really good if you're worried about damage, breakage, you really want to repair your hair. It is really good. It's not the best hair mask I've tried. Like, I feel like this is a little bit overhyped in my opinion. Like, I think it's a good hair mask, but I don't think it's amazing. I probably like this one more. This is by Briogeo and it's called the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Got this on Sephora and it's a really good one. I've been using it for years. I feel like this would work for every hair type. Basically hair masks, I'll use this one when I'm not loving my color and I feel like it's getting a little brassy and the shampoo and conditioner isn't doing enough. And then these two I'll use basically if I need a haircut and my hair is feeling really dry. Okay, we're nearing the end here. This is a lot of products. I mean, this is excessive. You guys don't have to use all of these, but I'm kind of just showing you everything that I'll kind of flip through. But as far as styling products go, I honestly don't use a lot. I feel like because my hair is fairly fine, I have to be careful with using too much product and overusing product, especially when I'm styling it. Like if I use too much hairspray or just any kind of texture sprays in my hair after I style it, it's not good because it's so fine, it doesn't need a lot of product. So I don't love using a lot of product when I'm styling my hair, long story short. First thing I should mention is this, I love this. I didn't think I needed it because it's a hair oil, by the way, I don't know if I said that. It's an invisible oil, it's just a dry hair oil and it's like a spray. I love this stuff. I used one up and then I wasn't gonna repurchase it because I had this, which is just the whey hair oil. So I was like, I don't need a hair oil and a spray as well but I missed it. I was like, I need that. So I went and bought another one because I was really missing it. This is just great if you curl your hair or straighten it too, but I usually curl my hair and it's just a little frizzy and a little fuzzy. I pretty much just spray this more in the ends. I focus it more on the ends. Like don't spray this on your roots or you're gonna get really oily, greasy roots. But yeah, it's just a dry oil and it makes your hair really smooth, really shiny. And I love this one. I've tried a few and this is my favorite dry spray oil. It's my favorite one. So after I style my hair, I curl it, straighten it. I'll use a little bit of this on the ends, like I said, and then I like to use a texture spray just to give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of movement, a little bit of volume. But I'm actually out of texture spray at the moment. My favorite one is by Amica. I don't know if it's Amica or Amica, but you can get it at Sephora. It's in like a yellow and green bottle. I really love that one. That one's my favorite. I've tried a lot of texture sprays and yeah, I feel like that's the best one for my hair type anyway. And then I feel like I can't film this segment without mentioning dry shampoo, except I don't really have a favorite at the moment. That's something I'm in the market for. So if you guys have a good dry shampoo, comment down below because yeah, I've tried a lot and I don't really have a favorite at the moment. I'm using this right now, which is from Dry Bar. It's the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. I like it. I don't love it. It does leave quite a white residue, like quite a white cast. So if you have dark hair, like if you're brunette or even black hair, you'd probably hate this because it does leave that white residue. I mean, it comes out if you brush it and kind of judge your hair at the roots, but it's just not my favorite. Like, I don't know, it's okay, but I'm not obsessed with it. I used to use the Chlorine dry shampoo. You can get that at the drugstore. Like I just get that at Shoppers. And that one is good. I do like that one. I'm trying to think of other ones I've tried that are good. I mean, I used to buy the IGK dry shampoos and those were okay. I really want to try the Living Proof dry shampoo because I've heard good things about that. Yeah, I'm always using dry shampoo in between washing my hair if I work out and my hair's a little sweaty, but I don't want to wash it that day. Then I'll obviously use dry shampoo. But let me know what your guys' favorites are. Okay, I feel like that was a lot. I mentioned a lot of products just in case you guys had any like questions about what products I like for my hair. There you go, that should give you <laughs> that should give you enough information. But yeah, that's it for this video. So thanks so much for watching. If you stayed till the end, comment down below anything you want, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm a little I'm a little caught up. I'm a little shaken. You are that someone I can
could make a mistake, but 